benvenuti alla seconda lezione di verticali con Nina. Ecco Nina che arriva. Hi Nina, thank you for being here. Allora, abbiamo fatto la prima lezione su, per sviluppare la forza che ci occorre per stare in verticale. Questa lezione sarà più sull'allineamento corretto del corpo in verticale. So the right alignment in handstand. Yes. Okay, we're ready. Okay, first we're gonna do a shorter warm up and you're gonna need elastic or just longer towel. So prepare that. Yeah. Quindi elastico o un, o un telo lungo, ragazzi. Uno staffa lunga. Okay, and we're gonna start first with the one hand behind and then other hand forward. So one stretch here slowly and other forward two and up. One, other three, up, down, slowly, four and now other side. So back and other forward one. Back and other two back and other three back and other four. Okay, now we're gonna do shoulder dislocations with elastic. So grip here in front of you, and now push forward with your shoulders here. Pushing forward, pushing up, and going slowly back with both shoulders at the same time, and back up, two, forward, down, slowly one, and forward, up, and slowly back, other side, up, and two, forward, back. pushing out, right? Yeah, always pushing out, engaging your shoulder muscles. Up. Quindi le braccia sono in spinta. Quando so, questo. Yeah, and forward. Four, one more. Up. Back. And forward. Five. Okay. Now we're gonna sit back. Open hands to the side and you are push down with your elbows and now go slowly up, 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 overhead and extend hands here if you can and then slowly back down, pushing hands back all the time. So from the side, you're not here, but you're really pushing back. So down as low as possible and slowly up. Up, up, extend. So even if your hands are here, it's okay. You just need to work more on your shoulder flexibility. So pushing back as much as you can and back down, down, two, and up, up, extend, and down, down, three, up, up. Extend and down, down, four, one more up, up, extend and down, down, five. Okay, stretching your wrists. <laughs> so, fingers down. And now just swing forward, slowly add the pressure on your wrist and back. Swing forward. We've already done in the other lesson, so in quadrupedia, swing in front, the weight on the hands, and turn back to the side, towards the heels. Okay, now open, out, out. And you go from one side, forward, other side, and back. So the hands are touching. 
Le braccia unite e facciamo delle circonduzioni, praticamente dei giri. Sinistra avanti. E cambio giro. One. Two. Four, five, and down. Now you're going to go up, lifting up on your fingers and slowly down with muscle. So up, finger stretching your fingers. And slowly down using these muscles in your forearm. Up. And salgo dalle mani fino a mettere il peso solamente sulle dita, però lasciando il peso. E lentamente scendo. So slowly and control in the knee muscles. And slowly down. Okay. Put hands forward, put shoulders down, and do the stretch in your shoulders and upper back. Hips are above your knees. And up, stand up, you can score, and then now we're going to just pull down, open your shoulders, and push in down to the floor, and forward, one, put pressure here on your head, so opening shoulders, pushing fingers down, and forward, pushing pressure on your shoulders here. Stiamo da cane che guarda in giù e poi spostiamo il peso in avanti con le mani sopra, scusate, con la testa sopra le braccia. Okay. One more. Open. And five. Okay. Now lay down. And we're going to do a rotation in Paris. So from S out, like rotation forward, we're going to squeeze inside and leave a space here. We are putting belly up on the floor and engaging your glutes. Yeah? So hands are in front of you. And you're going to do from here, rotating back and relax. And rotate back. And relax. Ok, quindi pancia a terra, le mani lungo le orecchie, andiamo a retrovertere forte il bacino, a attivare i glutei e a spingere con l'addome verso la schiena. Automaticamente si andrà a sollevare un pochino la parte um, sotto insomma, della pancia. E rilasso. E andiamo a contrarre e rilassare. Ok. okay. We're going yeah. to do this for 10 times. So hands are down on the floor and you are just rotating first. Go. And uh, rotate back. And now one. Rotate back. So here is studies. And two. Rotate. Three. Rotate. Four. And back. Five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, last one, ten. Okay? Now you're going to need a resting. 
and we're gonna sing this in position, but we're gonna rotate back and hold here all the time. So when you do this exercise, here it should be space under your belly, and we're gonna just lift hands up and down for 10 times. So from here, rotate back, and you're gonna lift hands and down. Ok, ok, quindi rimaniamo solo con l'elastico o con la stoffa tra le mani, andiamo nella posizione di prima, quindi gambe unite, bacino retroverso e andrò a sollevare le braccia 10 volte. Ok, yeah. yes, ready? Yeah, so squeeze legs together and now rotate back. Knees good, leave a space here, and we're gonna lift hands up and slowly down one. Up and down two. Up three. Up four. Up five. Up six. Up seven. Up. Eight, up, nine, last one, ten, and hold up for ten seconds. Lift hands up and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Okay? Yeah, then exercise for me, that really hard. Yeah, let's start with I struggle a lot with this. So you need a lot in shoulders, yeah, and you need this upper back strength. And this is like necessary for a nice handstand alignment. So here you are really squeezing legs together, which you should do in handstand. You are rotating sideways backward, and you have actually straight line when you are lifting your hands. So if your hands are here, and you cannot lift it, this is not straight line. You cannot hold here the balance. You need to like compensate with other body parts. So like a bit in banana hands and or something. But if your hands are here, then it's like a straight line all the way to your point. Yes, yeah. Quindi questo esercizio qua ci serve veramente per costruire quella forza che c'è necessaria nella parte superiore della schiena per vedere come ha fatto lei, per trovare l'allineamento perfetto con il bacino rotato, rotato e le gambe chiuse. E altrimenti si tende, se le braccia non riescono ad arrivare in quella posizione lì, a compensare con le gambe andando a formare quella verticale a banana che conosciamo tutti, un pochino così storta. Yes! Ok, next one, we're gonna do in plank position. And we're gonna do again a rotation pelvis. So here in plank, squeezing legs together, and you're gonna like relax your uh, core, and now rotate pelvis backwards. So from here, rotating back and squeezing glutes, squeezing core. Uh, so this is the position in your handstand. So this is like banana handstand, and then you are rotating back, and you have a nice line. So we're going to do this pelvis rotation for 10 times. Ok, quindi facciamo la rotazione del bacino in, in posizione di plank. Quindi da qua andiamo a chiudere e a fare la rotazione. So squeeze legs together. Gambe unite. And now relax your core. Yeah. And now push inside. Yeah, nice. And all the time you are pushing away from your shoulders, so you are not sitting down, pushing away. And relax. And rotate back. Relax. And breathe. Relax. Rotate. Four. Relax. Rotate. Five. Relax. And six. Relax. And seven, relax, 
Eight. Relax. And nine. Last one. Relax. And ten. Down. Good. So this one can be really challenging at the beginning if you don't know how to do like if you don't have the body awareness and like just feel what your body is doing so you don't, you don't need to look yourself in the middle to see what you are doing. Quindi ovviamente questo è un esercizio eh, può essere difficile all'inizio eh, va, va, va allenato magari guardandosi anche allo specchio per capire per avere veramente una coscienza di quello che sta facendo il corpo. Yes. Now we're gonna do this in handstand on the wall. So the same pelvis rotations. So that's ready. So this is my wall. And we're gonna start again in plank. And go slowly up, up, up. Looking closer, closer, closer. Go as close as possible. And here you are first to relax. And now you're gonna engage your core, engaging core, rotating pelvis backward and squeezing glutes and squeezing legs together, keeping legs straight. So from relax, engage and relax for 10 times. Okay, quindi. Ora proviamo a farlo in verticale, sposto anche io la, la telecamera. E quindi saliamo, come abbiamo fatto le altre volte, dalla, mm, dalla posizione della plank, salgo su in verticale e rilasso e attivo eh, il core, quindi vado a fare la posizione del cucchiaio. Chiudo, eh, strizzo le gambe insieme, attivo i glutei, e, il, e gli addominali che lavorano verso la schiena le spalle sono sempre in spinta ok? e facciamo 10 volte rilassiamo e attiviamo rilassiamo e attiviamo yes. we are my position and I go up next up and then go closer 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 So as close as possible to the wall. Now from here, rotate back, seven, squeeze, loose, engage your core and squeeze legs together and relax one. So rotate and down two. Rotate and three. Rotate and four. Rotate. And five, rotate, six, rotate, seven, rotate, eight, rotate, nine, last one, rotate, and slowly down, slowly walking down, 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 and relax, down. Okay? Take your shoulders. So if you cannot hold for that long up in handstand, if it's too hard for your shoulders, you can just come faster down and maybe continue in plank position like we did yesterday. Okay, quindi se non riusciamo a se non riusciamo a tenere la verticale tutto questo tempo, magari per le spalle, scendiamo un po' prima e rimaniamo in plank per il tempo necessario, insomma il tempo dell'esercizio. Ok, we're gonna go back up in handstand, the same as before, up, up, up. And now from here, we're gonna rotate pelvis back, stay in this position, and now you will try to open your shoulders and relax. So open them as much as you can, and back. Open and back for 10 times, but you need to stay in this rotated pelvic position. Ok, quindi saliamo, 
Facciamo la rotazione del bacino e da quella posizione lì andiamo a cercare di aprire le spalle e quindi di avvicinare il petto al muro, però mantenendo sempre holding here the, the position, the hollow body. Ok. Ok. Thanks. So we are just working with shoulders, so opening and now like we did before laying down, so when we are lifting okay. this up. Quindi questa è l'upgrade della dell'esercizio di prima, proprio per, per lavorare sulle spalle. Ok. Ready? Yes. So plank. And now go up. Up. And walking closer, 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 closer. And now here, rotate pelvis backward. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze legs together and now you're gonna open your shoulders as much as you can and forward one. Open and two. Open and three. Open four. Open five. Open six. Open. Seven, two more, open, eight, open, nine, open, ten, and slow down, 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 and down. So it was already much more challenging. This is like the next level, much more advanced. So <laughs> it's just too hard. Stay with the other progression that we did before. Ok, questo è un esercizio più avanzato, per cui se non riuscite a farlo, rifate l'esercizio precedente oppure restate nella posizione col bacino retroverso senza andare a lavorare con le spalle. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So for a nice handstand alignment, we need to work on that pelvis rotations. So we're taking back, we're taking back and then opening your shoulder, opening up, opening up. So this is the two main parts that you need to work on. Yeah, because um, like there are the hands, the wrist and then just above them should be the shoulders and just above them hips and feet. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. Quindi, if you are working in straight handstand, but you can also balance banana handstand, but then your shoulders are more forward, hips are more back, and legs are more forward. So okay. it's okay, yes, you can balance it, but it doesn't look nice, and it's not so much good for your shoulders and for lower back, and you can have some problems after it. So better to take slow progress and do it correctly, even if you don't think you are progressing, you are progressing with every train. Okay, okay, that's important. Just give me a minute to translate it properly. Allora, um, questo è il lavoro che stiamo facendo per l'allineamento nella verticale dritta. Quindi, eh, mani, polsi, sopra le spalle, sopra eh, il bacino e sopra ancora i, i piedi. C'è anche, ci sono le verticali, diciamo, storte, no? A banana in cui magari le spalle sono più avanti, poi il bacino più indietro e i piedi tornano più avanti e risultano però estremamente eh, pesanti per le spalle e per eh, la parte lombare della schiena. E il lavoro sulla verticale è un lavoro lungo che però face, fatto con costanza ti fa progredire anche se i progressi non si vedono, non sono immediati, non sono visibili. Ogni allenamento che si fa si progredisce per ottenere il risultato che stiamo cercando, cioè quello della verticale dritta. Ok? Yeah. Now we're gonna do back up into handstand and we're gonna do shoulder shrugs. So that you are pushing out from your shoulders. So from here you're going up, 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 up. And now you are relaxed, like sinking down. And now just Push up as high as you can. So relax and 
push up as high as you can. So really, your shoulders are going up and like touching your ears and down. Up and down. We're gonna do this for 10 minutes. Okay, so the hands should be at the same um, distance as the shoulders. Yeah. Okay. It's some usually guys have a bit wider because they are wider in shoulders, but yeah, like if you want to do it correctly, it's in the same line. Okay, because if you want to feed them in your ears, uh, it's just that's the way. Okay, quindi andiamo in verticale al muro e da lì, come avete visto, a Tonina, rilassiamo le spalle, le lasciamo affondare nella schiena. E poi rispingiamo. È importante sentire okay, le braccia che toccano le orecchie. Per fare questo la distanza delle mani deve essere la distanza delle vostre spalle. Quindi non le mettiamo qua perché altrimenti non riusciamo a farlo. Le mettiamo vicine e spingiamo. Ten times. Yeah, and another important thing is that your fingers are looking forward. Because some might slightly put it out. It's not like correct if you look for the shoulders, you are always here, you are not walking like this and hands are like this, but they are like in this line. So also in handstand, your hands should be forward and this is much better if you learn this from the beginning, when you are like uh, getting for the balance exercises, like these fingers are much stronger, like to keep the balance than here. You cannot keep the balance with these two fingers. It's yeah. a way harder. So just learn like this and do it with these three fingers, like pressing fingers inside to prevent yourself from falling forward. Ok, quindi le dita devono essere rivolte in avanti, non girate in qua, anche per una questione di equilibrio. E in questo modo queste dita sono più forti e ci aiutano a tenere l'equilibrio invece che ruotate così. Um, uh, one last question. So the weight, we should feel the weight on our fingers. Is it correct? It's actually it's the whole hand. Wide open. Yeah, hand is wide open and it's always whole hand. It's not like here. So whole hand here should be touching. So when you put fingers down, now you can grip the floor, but without lifting this middle part up. Yeah. Okay. So you are always here and just gripping. This can come out. Usually they balance like this. So there are two versions. You can balance with bended fingers because you are squeezing so much, or with straight fingers because you are pushing like fingers inside. Yeah, but this part should always be down. And you are okay. tight, you are never like relaxed and balanced like this. Ok, quindi noi dobbiamo portare il peso su tutta la mano e sulle dita e poi uh, da qua possiamo sollevare questa parte delle dita ma non il palmo della mano, quello deve rimanere sempre a terra. So is it incorrect to feel all the way on this part? It means we, we are leaning back. Yeah, if you want to balance, you cannot save your hands and if you feel just pressure here. You need to feel it in whole line. So even if you are standing, you are not standing like this on your heels. It's actually the same, but you always have the pressure on whole feet. And so even if you are leaning forward, you still feel your heels down, but you are just pressing with fingers more inside. And if you are leaning back, you are just a bit releasing your fingers, but they are always touching the floor. So same as hand. Same, same mentality. Ok, quindi se, se dobbiamo andare in verticale il peso deve essere su tutta la mano, come quando siamo in piedi e non abbiamo solamente il peso sui talloni, ma usiamo tutto quanti, tutta, tutta la, la, la pianta dei piedi per, per bilanciarci. Ok, yeah. let's do this! Yeah. Ready? Yes. No. In position. And now legs up, up, and walking closer, closer, up, moving, shifting weight from one hand to the other hand. Go as close as possible. 
Now relax your shoulders and push away. So shoulders to your ears and relax one. Push away and two. Push away, three. Push away, four. Up, five. Up, six. Up, seven. Up, eight. Up, nine. Last one. Ten. And slowly down, 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 down. Done. Okay, so at the beginning, you need to learn how to really push up from your shoulders. But as you progress, you need to learn how to save your strength in your shoulders. So at the beginning, you're holding here, but like for me, I can hold it here in the middle and I can feel still safe, like stable in handstands. Ok, quindi all'inizio dobbiamo imparare a stare veramente con le, con le spalle in spinta e poi dopo, man mano che si progredisce, si può eh, allentare un pochino la tensione, la spinta, leggermente eh, per salvare un po' di forza, per risparmiare un po' di forza. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, then you are... If you want to uh, hold it for longer, you need to save your strength in shoulder. So you're not pushing on 100%, but maybe 70% and you are still here. You can maintain the balance using. Yeah, yeah. But as, uh, we, we're gonna take care of it after. Once we gotta start <laughs> learning how to hold it properly, right? Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna do one more, that is the basic uh, exercise for learning how to balance. It's in frog stand, so hands are down, and you are coming with knees on your elbows, so leaning slowly forward, and you can first lift one leg up, and then slowly, when you feel safe, you are lifting also other leg up, and here the balance, is all the way on your hand. So you are grabbing the floor, spreading your fingers and really pressing fingers inside and whole hand is down. Ok, ok, quindi andiamo a fare eh, quello che poi in yoga è, è il corvo, questo, questo equilibrio con le braccia piegate e, e le ginocchia sopra i gomiti e spingendo Uh, con, con tutto il, il peso su tutta la pianta insomma, del, delle mani e col panno, sul panno delle mani e le dita spingendo le dita verso l'interno ok quindi so sulla parte del piede e sull'altro yes so let's try it and see how long we can hold yeah so, Now bend, now lean forward, put to one leg up and slowly other leg up and now focus on your fingers only. So how your weight is moving backward and forward and when it's moving forward, when you are like pulling forward, you are pressing with fingers inside and when you are moving backward, you are releasing the big fingers but they are still like pressing inside and then you are just seeing what is happening under your fingers. So you need to adjust all the time. And uh, yeah. so this is the basic strength uh, balancing exercise. And then you can just move on to the wall and do the other balancing. Okay. So thank you. Yeah, it's a great exercise. Ok, quindi si inizia, si può fare questo prima e poi spostarsi al muro per fare gli esercizi um, di equilibrio al muro. So, if you can't hold this one, if you don't understand the movement of balancing, you shouldn't go up on the wall. Ok, quindi se non si riesce 
a mantenere l'esercizio, l'equilibrio in questo esercizio, non si dovrebbe andare al muro. Okay. So, first train this, this balance. Yeah. Okay. And really feel the, the work of the hands and the fingers. Yeah. Because okay. when you are in hands and there are so many things you need to think about and it's so hard to focus on your fingers. Like you always focus on finger the last thing. So first you need to correct your alignment. Okay, where where is my body? Is my uh, pelvis rotated? Are my shoulders open? And then you're still thinking about fingers and it's just too much things. See? Visto che quando andiamo in verticale l'ultima cosa a cui pensiamo sono, sono le dita, il lavoro delle dita a terra perché dobbiamo pensare al legame insieme, all'allineamento, il bacino, le spalle, eccetera, è bene veramente allenare queste cose, diciamo, al piano terra in questo, in questo equilibrio del corpo. Ok, perfetto. Ok, that's it. That's it? So thank you very much, Nina, for being with us. And thank you for asking me to join. I'm sorry, what? Thank you for like asking me, inviting me to join. Of course, of course. It was a pleasure. And um, we hope we'll to see you soon. We keep yes. following you and doing all your nice exercises. Thank you Thank so you. much for all Contraria School, for the whole one. Also, my, my colleagues that are not here, here. And thank you very much and have a, have a nice day. And Thank you, you too.